radiological evaluation and the outcome of the cerebral venous thrombosis in the patient presenting to our tertiary hospital and objective of the study is to understand the risk factor cause and the prognosis of the patient diagnosed with the cerebral venous thrombosis. The method of the study is a retrospective observational study of the 70 patient of the cerebral venous thrombosis presented to our hospital from the December 2022 till April 2024. We undertook a patient record search of our database to identify those patients diagnosed with the cerebral venous thrombosis based on the clinical parameter and the radiological confirm. Cases are evaluated for the risk factor, clinical symptoms, radiological evaluation and the treatment given and the final outcome of the patients. As the results showing, less than 50 age, the total number of the patient are 55 under age of 50 and the 15 patient are more than age 50 year. The mean age of the patient was 38.7 year with the male preponderance. 38%, 55% patient had no comorbidity. Out of that, hypertensive are in total 15 and the type 2 diabetes mellitus are 9 cases, 30% in total. The majority or 54% of the patient had a nil addiction followed by 10 patients having the tobacco chewing addiction and the 5 patients having smoking and the 4 were alcoholics. The most common symptom in the cerebral venous sinus thrombosis were the headache. 51 patient having the most common complaint is the headache followed by patient having the vomiting, seizure and the vertigo. Focal neurological deficient is seen in 15 cases. Visual difficulty, fever, altered sensorium and the least common symptom were ERAC, cranial nerve palsy, tinnitus, aplasia and the stupor, coma, delirium and the rare is the meningeal sign. The etiology. That are the blood cause, maybe the genetic mutation in the deficiency of the protein C, uh, factor lady 5 mutation or the efficiency. Uh, most uh, and other than that, hyperhomocysteinemia, prior history of the uh, trauma, sepsis, drugs, or the trauma. The initiation of heparin was in 65% of the patient less than 4 hour of the uh, 24 hour of the presentation, followed by oral anticoagulation in the patient as a bridging therapy. In the oral anticoagulation, most commonly used were warfarin was used in the 45% of the cases, followed by dabigatran used in the 25 cases, 25% of the cases, and the apixaban in the 17% of the cases. More than say, three sinus involvement seen in the 21 case, uh, cases, followed by superior surgical sinus thrombosis in the 20 cases, and the lateral and the sigmoid sinus thrombosis in the 14 cases. Study showed 12 or the 17 percentage of the mortality out of the which 50 percentage of the patient having lateral and the sigmoid sinus thrombosis followed by superior sagittal sinosis having 37 percentage of the mortality. The discussion in our study out of 25 females 11 patients were using oral contraceptive pills thus there have been, has been positive association between oral contraceptive pills and the venous sinus thrombosis. Our, in our study, so that the male to female ratio was 1.8 gem 1%. However, in the male, cause of the VST is the still un remain unclear and the need further evaluation. The discussion, the hyperhomocysteinemia is the known risk factor for venous sinus thrombosis. It is a result from the low socioeconomical condition, secondary to the nutritional status, dehydration, low for, uh, plasma polyp and the vitamin B12 def, uh, level which can be associated with increased risk of the cerebral venous sinus thrombosis. Early diagnosis and the treatment has proved to improve the outcome and the prognosis in the patient. However, long term treatment outcome with oral anticoagulation still under trial. Conclusion Cerebral venous thrombosis is the more common in the younger population and the symptom present from wide range of the simple headache to the seizure and the focal neurological deficient. However, the patient can be better outcome and the prognosis with anticoagulant along with the supportive treatment if the seizure and the any focal neurological deficient started on the appropriate time. These are the my references for this study. Thank you.